looking to make it to their first state championship game in program history here at their first appearance here at the Breslin Center. But first, they would have to get past Belleville. And what a start it was for the Bobcats. Great ball movement allows Kate DeWitt to get a wide open three, and she gets nothing but net. Malaya Brown gets tucked in the paint, gets out of the pressure and shoots, gets the bucket and the foul as the Bobcats start the game on a 10-0 run. Graham Blank continues to pour it on. Alana Liggins gets the long pass, sets up in the corner, and the three ball is money. Raven McQueen waits for her moment and drives past the defense and drops in an easy Easy layup. She scored 12 points in this game, and Grand Blank would lead by 10 at half. The third quarter was a different story, though. Belleville Sydney Savory puts up a triple before the buzzer, gets it to go, and gives the Tigers their first lead of the game. We go to the fourth. Down two. Park Liggins gets the pass, and she drops the triple. She had a team high 14 points. Belleville tried to hurry up court, but Chelsea Bishop would reflect the pass. DeWitt gets the steal, and Bishop finishes it with a layup. She would have 13 points and four steals today. And at the end, the celebration began as Grand Blank wins 54 to 45, and for the first time in program history, will be playing in the state championship game. It is something that like I've dreamed since I was a little girl, and it, to be able to actually make my dream come into reality, it's amazing. They came back third quarter. They was fighting, battling. I'll give them that. But you know, we have the same lineup as them. Like, it's something we have that they have too. You know, you can't compete with both. We found a way to win. You know, and that's the kind of thing. Like, in, the longer I've been out of coaching, it's like if some of those shots don't fall for us, and they fall for them. You think you were terrible. You know what I mean? But we were. Able able to win, things look good for us, um, people came through and we're able to celebrate it. With Grand Blank's victory, we'll have two teams in mid-Michigan competing for a state championship tomorrow. Starting off in Division 4 with Kingston, their game will tip off at 10 a.m. and then Grand Blank will follow them at 12.15 p.m. in the Division 1 championship. In East Lansing, I'm Cole Martins. Back to you, Mar